Okay, we're going to move on to our next transformation. Remember, all of these that are ta we're talking about are different transformations. We have a translation, which we did last week, and now we're going to move on to a reflection. A reflection, just like if you look in the mirror, that's what you see is a reflection. The pens we need are green, black, light blue, pink, and purple. So a reflection, we're going to use light pink or pink first. A reflection is basically a flip. It's a flip. A reflection is a transformation in which a mirror image is produced by flipping a figure over a line. All right, purple. The line of reflection is a line that the figure is pink flipped over. Light blue. For reflections, the pre-image green and its image have the same black size and shape. And they are all they are called congruent figures. So again, we're not changing the shape, we're not changing the size. After you move your figure, whatever you're doing, after you flip it or reflect it, it should be the exact same size, exact same shape as before. And remember to find our image, we're all going to include that prime symbol. Our image always has the prime. That's how we know when we're looking on the graph, which is the image and which is the pre-image. All right, let's do one. Draw a reflection of the triangle ITY over the x-axis. What's the line of reflection? Okay, if we're going over the x-axis, that tells us that my line of reflection will be the x-axis. Purple, sorry the x-axis. All right, and that's right here. x-axis. That's where we're reflecting it over. <clears throat> All right, our coordinate notation, coordinate notation, which are just the ordered pairs, we, they give us our pre-image. So light blue, i is negative 5, 0. Start the origin, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0. That's our i. Make sure you're always labeling your points. T, negative 4, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And Y, 0, 2. That's our Y. And get your straight edge and connect those. Okay, and now if our line of reflection is what the x-axis, then these points are going to be the same distance on this side as they are that side. So I'm going to get green. And so this one, it's going to stay, it's on the line, so it's going to stay there. So this is also going to be I prime. And it's negative 5, 0. Okay, T we went one, two, three, four, and then up one, two, three, four. So we're still going to be on the same here, but now we're going to flip it. So it's going to be down here. So one, two, three, four. I'm going to the same distance. One, two, three, four. So T prime is negative one, two, three, negative four, and then one, two, three, four, negative four. Okay, and y again is still going to stay on the same x value, but it's going to come two down because it's two up. 
So we're gonna flip it over this line and that's where it would land. Y prime, do not forget your primes. And it is zero, negative two. <clears throat> All right, again, connect your point. Now before you move on, you wanna look at your figures and make sure that they are still congruent. Does this look like that? Absolutely. Does it look like we just flipped this over that line? And so this, let's label them so we remember, is our image, because it's after the transformation or the translation. And it has prime, blue. This is our pre-image. It's where we started and purple, this is our line of reflection. Okay, let's do another one. Purple, draw a reflection, so we know we're flipping, of the quadrilateral MZDP over the y-axis. So what's our line of reflection? It's the y-axis. This is our y. Really in a, we should use a lot straight edge. Just shade that purple so we know that's what we're reflecting across. Okay, our pre-image, blue. Coordinate notation, just start ordered pairs. M is three, zero. One, two, three, zero. This is M. Z, three, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Z, again, I do not include prime because this is before the transformation. D, five, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. And P is four, negative one. One, two, three, four, negative one. P. Connect our points. And this is before, so we're gonna go ahead and label this our pre-image. Okay, so let's reflect it going across this line so it needs to be the same distance so I went over one two three so I would go over one two three we're in green and this would be my Z prime because it's my image after the reflection M one two three one two three M prime P's right here, one, two, three, four. So I go one, two, three, four. P prime. And D is up here over to five, so I'm gonna go over five. D prime. Again, connect your points. And this is your image after the reflection. So find our ordered pairs. M is one, two, negative three, zero. Z, one, two, three, negative three, one, two, three. D, one, two, three, four, negative five, one, two, three, four. And P, one, two, three, four, negative four, negative one. Okay, right, come back to the next video for the next side.